I am. Okay, yeah. Your question. Well, um, how how did it? How did that come about? Uh, women who kick comedy butt. How did that? What? Well, um, I I learned definitely in in the seventies that um, activism is only successful in my view if you are assertive in a way that's going to be non-reactive. In other words, to have a, a clear-cut vision of this makes me mad, that's part of it, but that's not the end and the beginning of change. You know, uh, maybe with comedy, uh, so to speak, um, it's even still so bad this way, it's better. There'll be a lineup maybe of ten comics, and you will hear as a woman, uh, well, we already have a woman on the bill. <laughs> you know, okay, so when that happened, and it was harder for me because I was older when I got into comedy, so I had strikes against me. It's already hard to be a comic, but first of all, I'm a, a woman, an older woman, and um, a woman who wasn't necessarily going to be talking about blue subject matter, who's going to be, ta be talking about everything, and um, not just going for the sex jokes. So um, I thought, how can I create stage time for myself where I can do what I want to do? Getting angry really supports the other side, you know. Who wants to have an angry woman on their show? And if you're complaining, nobody wants to help you. And I thought it's nobody's job to help me anyway. I'll just create what I want, the way I want it to be, and then I'll get exactly what I want. You know, a show that's about women telling their own story in their own way, not us trying to fit into what typically comedy had become was a male art form with a few token females that nine times out of the ten were like Lisa Lampanelli, you know, one of the guys. But what about the female voice? And I like Lisa Lampanelli. I don't mean that as, as a criticism. I just mean to use her as an example. I mean, I don't really want to be one of the guys. I want to be me. And um, so I had no idea that, that, that putting together a show that was conservative in subject matter as far as, you know, cutting out the cussing and, and the graphic subject matter and really going for let's hear what you have to say, you know, not uh, set up punchline of, I mean, because the obscene, the sacred obscene is truly funny. We all laugh at it. It's been around since the beginning of time. One of the oldest jokes is, 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 is ever is, is about a, 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 a vagina walking down the street making funny jokes. And it's hilarious. I mean, just the concept of a walking vagina talking. It's hilarious. And um, so, 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 you know, there's nothing wrong, and it wasn't about uh, being a goody two-shoes or um, creating something that was safe. It was, for me, creating a show where women were really not allowed to cheat by doing a little sex joke and people laugh, ha, 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 ha. But in Women Who Kick Comedy, but you really have to have an act. If you really have to talk about yourself. Sure, it's funny to talk about your boobs. Sure, it's funny to talk about, you know, different things.